In this episode, we will introduce the citation count metric using real-world examples. A citation count is a basic citation metric that is simply the total number of citations received to date. Let's take a look at a real example from Scopus. Here, we can check the citation count of this article by Dr. Kevin Lowe. It has been cited 161 times so far by other articles indexed in Scopus. Other than individual articles, a citation count can also be calculated for an author. We can see that Dr. Lowe has a cumulative total citation count of 670 on Scopus. To find citation count metrics, the three most common tools are Web of Science, Scopus, and Google Scholar. You need to be aware, however, that these sources have different journal and source coverage, so the resulting metrics may vary. Inconsistencies can also arise from variant author names and thus split profiles. For example, Dr. Lowe's cumulative author citation count in Web of Science is 508, but on Google Scholar, the number is almost double at 910. This is because Google Scholar has broader source coverage. Although citation counting is the most straightforward research impact metric, they cannot be taken at face value. For example, poor quality papers can draw a lot of citations too. They're cited not because they're good, but because they're being criticized. This article, linking vaccines and autism, was found to be fraudulent and subsequently retracted. Its citations come from researchers critical of its poor methodology. Another issue is accusations of academics gaming the system with self-citations. It's important to note that citations take time to accrue. Thus, very recent publications may have very few or zero citations. Citation patterns may also be discipline dependent. Traditionally, social sciences and humanities scholars receive fewer citations because they publish more often in books and conference papers. Other tools need to be used alongside citation counts to arrive at a more balanced assessment. For example, the same Scopus article by Dr. Lowe mentioned previously also includes the Field Weighted Citation Impact, or FWCI, to provide a more balanced view in addition to citation counts. More details about FWCI are provided in another video in this series. If you're ready to find out more, dive into other episodes in our 2-Minute Metric series and continue on with your metrics journey.